everybody. Today I wanted to share with you some tips that I have for decorating a small deck on a budget and how I have decorated my little patio and cement area for this spring and summer season of 2021. So the first tip I have is to use last year's furniture. So I have a couple wicker pieces that I have had. One has been for several years, so it is looking a little bit worn. Um, but to add a fresh touch, you could just add some fresh throw pillows, maybe a throw blanket on it. And then another piece I had, I found last year on Facebook Marketplace and just updated it with a fresh cushion from Walmart. So just using last year's furniture, I also am using last year's rug I found on walmart.com as well to pull in a little more color with the blue and white stripe. And then I have a couple more elements of like the red and blue. So I am keeping a similar color scheme and um, I know trends come in and out, but I'm one who just kind of sticks with what I'm okay with and keeping things on a budget. That also means keeping some things from the year previous instead of going out and buying a ton of brand new cushions and brand new furniture right away. So another tip for decorating my small deck is to shop Facebook Marketplace. So like I said, that one of my wicker chairs I found on Marketplace last year and it was $15 and just needed to update it with a fresh cushion. And then I found four metal chairs on Facebook Marketplace for $60 and I just updated them with two cans of spray paint and they look good as new and these are just on my cement area kind of randomly clustered around for people to gather and sit. I'm still on a hunt for a table but I have not found one yet that I have been able to snatch up because patio furniture this time of year sells so so fast so um, yeah it was such an affordable deal to find for those heavy duty metal chairs that usually retail for two to three hundred for sixty dollars and then just six dollars worth of spray paint so that is my second tip is to shop Facebook marketplace my third tip is to honestly go junking <laughs> now this is something I don't do regularly but I did look around when we had our citywide cleanup and I found two pieces. This little white chippy stand that I have a pot on was free, obviously. And then this little white chippy worn uh, wicker table was free as well. And so I just was walking around when we were on a stroll in our town and found these pieces and went and picked them up. So just on the hunt, having an eye to look for things that are in piles on the side of the road. Tip number four is to save last year's plants. So my fern, for example, that I bought last year, I brought it inside in the fall winter months and just kept it alive and it is flourishing and so that helps cut down on cost as well and it fills in my corner where I have just some kind of eyesores of electrical boxes, the outlets and stuff like that and so I thought that was just a great way to save a couple maybe $20 on buying another big fern to hide that area. And then tip number five I have is to use natural elements. So I like decorating obviously with flowers and yes, you do have to go out and purchase them. But um, I used ones, like I said, I had a couple left from last year that I saved. I started seeds as well that saved some money and planted those. But just using natural decor, buying the packs of four or six from your local greenhouse and planting them in some thrifted pots saves money instead of buying a whole big flourishing plant already. And then I just used a couple stumps to add some natural elements that I've had. So if you have old tree stumps sitting around, if you wanted to add some wood elements, you could do that. Just adding that natural element, especially since you're outside, just also adds a bang for your buck and adds some dimension and a different element and that's what I've done here. So these are just five tips I have on how I decorated my small patio and um, cement area on a very shoestring budget for this season. If you want to see how I decorated last year's um, patio area, I will put that video in the description box for you. It's very similar but yet it has a few different elements. I do also plan to look for some 
Edison bulb lights to maybe hang on our fence back there and on our tree just to add that cozy ambiance as well, which wouldn't probably be thrifted, but you never know when I'm out garage sailing, I may find something. So hope this encourages you to decorate your outdoor space on a budget and to bring some elements that you enjoy to your space.